Ah, nothing like some Cavendish tobacco and a nice Meerschaum pipe. Are you smoking in there? No, I'm not. What's in your hand? Just this right here. Mm hmm. I want to see it. See, it's just a little thing like this. So, bye, told her. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Nothing, nothing. See the stuff I have to put up around here? Today I'm smoking the, uh, <clears throat> this is Black Cavendish today, uh, out of my Meerschaum pipe. So sit back, grab a cigar, cigarette, or pipe, and the beer, because this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. I'm just going to savor what I'm doing today. Uh, with all the craziness in the world, I mean alligators going crazy and all these terrorist things, you know. I just want to thank the maker of the soap I'm going to review for the opportunity to have a little bit of peace, even if it's just for 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Today, this is uh, the Guinness Blonde drink of the day. And I don't usually drink a beer after breakfast, but <clears throat> this is a special occasion. Tobacco Road is the name of my video, or uh, or uh, Tobacco Tuesday belated. So you've seen in my intro, I had this nice little pipe looking thing, and what it is, is a decanter. Now how the hell am I going to get uh, anything in that little opening? I made <laughs> this is a stir stick, coffee stir stick, a little straw. Drill the nice little tight hole in the back with my drill bit and silicone it in. Well, let's see if it works. Because today I'm going to put into it the Cavendish aftershave. So. See if I can hold this up like this, kind of like this, and see if it'll work. It's working. Gotta hold it like this just right. Cause it's kinda I don't know if it's that fragile, but as you can see it's empty. Now this is four ounces and this is I'm gonna leave a little bit just like that in the bottle so that I have something uh Where it smells it's so much like my tobacco. I was checking it out last night. It's like there's just a very small difference in my pipe tobacco. Let's see. In my pipe tobacco, and oh, this is three fluid ounces. See that? All right. So this is how it kind of goes. Or this is exactly how it goes. Just like that. That, there we go. Check it out. Full of Cavendish. So I'll put that right there. And I put another pipe right next to it. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so I uh, think I might keep that around for a while. Anyway, I, I got a habit of doing that because the, the uh, you know, there's so many cool things out here. Like I got the, uh, uh, I got the, uh, what do I have in here? Uh, Madam Scodioli's uh, dust shaker in here, and, uh, and this is just, see, uh, 
This is all just stuff I just find. I think it's kind of cool to have certain things, you know. And have just a bunch of bottles up there, right? Uh, okay, so today for a pre shave, I'm going to use the Pro Rosso. Where did KV get that uh, Pro Rosso Red aftershave? That's what I've been looking for. All right, so today I'm going to be shaving with the uh, Samog. I think this is a 420. This one I got from Robert Bowling. Uh, we all know quite well and uh, uh, let me clean up a little bit here anyway I'm going to be test shaving with uh, two more of my razors uh, this one here is uh, just a 5 8 uh, Sheffield square point looks really nice uh, I'll have this one for sale also so I'll be doing a test shave and that's also Everything I'm showing is going to be all strapped up on my fire hose strap. This one here um, is the 5 8 round tip, not round tip, it's a 5 8 uh, Torre shoulderless. So that's what I'm shaving with today. Uh, in my hair and in the theme of tobacco, I'm using the Slick Devil Pomade and this has a scent of the tobacco flower. That's what I slick my hair back with today. So, also, for the first time in my shaving history, I'm going to be shaving with a Phoenix Accruments, uh, and this one's in the Cavendish. And I uh, haven't even touched it yet. Ah. So, and of course, you've seen the aftershave. So, uh, just get it blooming just a little bit, I guess. Uh, it's pretty soft though. It's a little chunky. So that's what I'm doing today. So let's just check it out. Uh, I'm using my summer bowl. Oh yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be nice to get out of there. I like how they leave a little bit of space so you don't slop it over the side so much. So, wow, I can feel this loading right up. Look at that already, huh? Now, it, you know, a few weeks ago I was asking people's opinions on the best tobaccos. I got a lot of responses. And this was one of them. Uh, and I just happened upon this. So I'm doing some work with a shave, shave shop here in town it's lacking a little bit in uh, and so I'm, I've been doing this and I and I told them you need to buy these different soaps you can't just buy just three soaps you have to have something that's going to excite people you know people are going to walk in they're going to see that you have four or five six soaps and they're probably going to end up buying two of them because they won't be able to decide between two of them <laughs> you know and uh, and so uh, and so I walked in there and he did and I seen that Cavendish and I smelled and I go, I want this right now. So I go, you got the soap too? He goes, yep. So I bought the soap. So, using my summer bowl. So, Looking good. Okay. Have a snort of beer. All right. It's not really a bulky, uh, real bulky uh, lather. Uh, maybe it's just thirsty. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
I, uh, I like the scent. It's not really super strong, uh, but it doesn't really have to be because you're going to use the aftershave. It's an aftershave in a cologne. That's what it says here. So, all right, what do I want to try first? Let's try the shoulderless Toure. <clears throat> Now, yeah, this one's for sale. The scales are, they're, they're in really good shape. They're just, you know, not the prettiest color. Not that guys like pretty colors. I don't know why I said that. I guess I've been hanging out with my wife too much. Uh, so. Feels great. This is one of those that came um, uh, shave ready and didn't shave. Here's my edge. Uh, right now, um, to be honest, I can tell you that the edge is just a little bit coarse. But it's nothing nothing uh, to be concerned about it cuts great it's not it's probably not going to leave uh, any rash I'll do one side with one razor and one side with the other razor and if I don't like the one razor I'm breaking out my it's perfect double duck this thing it's a 5 8 shaves so nice so if you're looking for a, a good rate a really seriously good razor it's that double duck Things shaving really nice, actually. Uh, let's see if the, the, how the tip is. Perfect. Yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm getting into it. So all right, let's check the soul engine, huh? But after a swig of the beer. Okay. Here we go. Look at the reflection on that blade, man. Look how beautiful that blade is. bit of a pull. I don't like it. I won't sell it that way though. But it sure is cutting like a son of a bitch, huh? Alright, so
yeah this this it's cutting good uh cutting really good i mean it's just how long those hairs are i mean yeah so it's cutting ex excellent so i'm going to pause this i'm going to uh get to the last pass and i'll come back <clears throat> all right i'm on my third pass I really like to shave after I've been shaved for three or four days. Your skin gets real nice and tight and really nice looking. Uh, but I don't like to not shave. <laughs> you know? And man, when I first started shaving with a DEI, it just, just like today, just tore me up. Just cannot, I don't understand why other people can shave with it. Uh, but I can't, but... Uh, so I grew a beard for a long time. I had a beard for a long time. And, uh, and I discovered straight razor shaving when I found my grandfather's uh, straight razor. So that was good. All right, let's do the uh, Sologen again. Oh, let's do it this way. It was at the beginning, it was it felt pretty rough. Not pretty rough. It just this feel wasn't like that edge wasn't quite there. But now it's quite comfortable. It probably hasn't been shaved for a while, so it's probably rusty. Pun intended. Yeah, that's real comfortable. Very comfortable. So, yeah, beautiful razor. I got, I got three more coming too. I got a really nice, uh, I think it's a 7 8 round tip foray. I think it's a 7 8. Okay, let's go with the shoulderless toray. Look at that razor, man. All for sale. You buy a razor from me two days after, within two days after seeing this video, and I'll make you a sweet deal on scales. Oops, that's how you cut yourself. The piece de resistance. Beautiful razor. All right, so let's just do a little quick finger test. A little bit rough right here on each side. That's that's a I don't know. It must be the angle. It's the only place that I ever have problems. So let's put a little more here. A little more here. And let's do the Sheffield on the same side. That and then use a Toure shoulderless. This razor would look really nice with the right scales. See some hair coming off that one. Uh, so, there you go. 
There you go. Yep. That's how you do it. Okay, we do a cold water rinse. The loom, let's see if the loom don't talk back, which is good. Yeah. All right. I'm getting half. I can't tell if it's the beer or the shave. <laughs> All right, let's close this puppy out. I'm gonna put on some Thayer's cucumber. And I'm not going to use any of my uh, Gold Bond Men's Essentials today. For one reason, it's uh, summertime and uh, like we're burning a fire in here. I need the extra moisture in my skin. Plus, I want to make sure that or I want to see how well the post fill is with the soap and the aftershave. Right now, I can tell you uh, the soap was. Uh, um, I don't know if this. I don't know if I want to tell you there, there was a lot of hype in it or what, but you know, it smells great. It worked fine. Uh, would I buy it again? Yeah, I'd buy this again. I would recommend this to people. Uh, so, uh, is it, is it like, you know, amazing? I think for what it is, it's, it's got some really good quality to it. Uh, I, I would have to keep using it to really, um, see what it's like under different conditions, like, you know, sometimes your face is really dry or whatever, you know, that sort of thing. So, but yeah, it's, it's a good soap. I'm very pleased I bought it though. So, now, the piece de la resistance. This is the stuff that sold me right here. Ah. All right. This is kind of like a. As far as the strength goes, it feels really good, by the way. Really good. As far as the strength of the cologne goes, I would say it's just a little bit under in strength compared to the Ginger's Garden uh, Amirakesh. So if you ever had that before, that's kind of what it's like. Uh, so, uh, but I like it, yeah. Got my mustache off a little. This side's a little bit thicker. Man, look at my skin. I feel like a young boy again. With a hairy mustache. Anyway, uh, I should probably go in and fix that, but uh, I will after I close up. Hey, check it out. So this is uh, Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge, Straight Razor Sales and Service. And remember, every day is a good day for a straight razor shave. If you're interested in any of the razors I just shaved with, uh, drop me a line, uh, gentlemansedge at q.com, and I'll try to remember to put a link in below in the description. And you all have a great day. Later.